must be understood with some allowance. The entities that have now succeeded in going outside the karmic wheel, have done so, only if that wheel be taken as the one that turns now. The cosmos is not going in one groove all the days of Brahma, but it is going on a higher and higher status as it fulfills its mission. Those who have attained unto a rest in a state of spirituality not reachable now, will therefore in a future day come within the action of the wheel, with perhaps a punishment for the great beauties neglected for long ages. Some thoughts on the PDFP. 40. 32 The Lipika are the spirits of the universe. They are connected with the law of cause and effect karma and its recorders. Lipika comes from Lippi, writing. For information concerning the Lipika Lords CS. D. I. P. P. 152. 153. The Buddhas of activity are the triad who stands closest to Sanat Kumara, the Lord of the World. They are the planetary correspondences to the three aspects of the Logoic third aspect and are concerned with the force behind planetary manifestation. Monotic essence, the matter of the atomic, the highest subplane of each plane. Elemental essence, the matter of the six subplanes which are non-atomic. It is molecular matter. Free free karma may be defined to be the force generated by a human center to act on the exterior world, and the reactionary influence that is in turn generated from the exterior world to act on him may be called karmic influence and the visible result that is produced by this influence under proper conditions may be called karmic. True. Some thoughts on the Gita, P. 53. 76 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R-E -E -E. Involved for average comprehension but a factor of real importance which should not be overlooked in connection with the evolution of a world, a synthesis of worlds, or of a system when viewed from higher levels. Everything is and entities in earlier solar systems, which is working out through the individual atoms, and through those conjuries of atoms which we call forms. The effect of the personality ray upon the internal fires is therefore, in effect, the result of the influence of the planetary as he works out that portion of karma which falls to his share in any one cycle, greater or lesser. He thus brings about and eventually transmutes the effects of causes which he set in motion earlier in relation to his six brothers, the other planetary logoi. We get an illustrative parallel in the effect which one individual will have upon another in worldly contact, in molding and influencing, in stimulating or retarding. We have to remember that all fundamental influence and effects are felt on the astral. Plane and work thence through the etheric to the dense physical thereby bringing matter under its sphere of influence, yet not itself originating on the physical plane. Section 1. Division C. T-H-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-B-O-D-Y-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A-34 I. The nature of the etheric body 1. Its purpose and description 2. Eight statements 11. The nature of prana 1. Solar prana 2. Planetary prana 3. The prana of forms 111. Function of the etheric body. 1. It is the receiver of prana. 2. It is the assimilator of prana. 3. It is the transmitter of prana. 4. The 
disorders of the very body. ID. Macrocosmic and microcosmic ethers. One. The planetary logos in the ethers. Two. Cosmic and systemic ethers. Three. Protective purpose of etheric body. P. Death in the etheric body. One. Microcosmic death. Two. Macrocosmic Goliath. Consideration of the internal fires of the system, we shall find much of very little interest to the coming 34 inches prana. For the vital principle is the special relation of the atma with a certain form of matter, which by the relation of atma organizes and builds up as a means of having experience. This special relation constitutes the individual prana in the individual body. The cosmic all-pervading prana is not prana in the gross sense, but is a name for the Brahman as the author of the individual prana. All beings, whether devadas, men or animals, exist only so long as the prana is within the body. It is the life duration of all. Prana, or vitality, is the common function of the mind and all the senses. Serpent Power, PP, 94, 95, 77, 78 ATREATISONCOSMICFIRE. Generation of thinkers for three main reasons, which might be enumerated as follows. 1. Its purpose and description. First, in the study of the etheric body lies hid, for scientists and those of the medical profession, a fuller comprehension of the laws of matter and the laws of health. The word health has become too localized in the past, and its meaning confined to the sanity of the body corporeal the cooperative action of the atoms of the physical body of man, and to the full expression of the powers of the physical elemental. In days to come it will be realized that the health of man is dependent upon the health of all allied evolutions, and upon the cooperative action and full expression of the matter of the planet and of the planetary elemental who is himself a composite manifestation of the physical elementals of all manifested nature. Second. In the study of the etheric body and prana lies the revelation of the effects of those rays of the sun which, for lack of better expression, he will call solar pranic emanations. These solar pranic emanations are the produced effect of the central heat of the sun approaching other bodies within the solar system by one of the three main channels of contact and producing on the bodies then contacted certain effects differing somewhat from those produced by the other emanations. These effects might be considered as definitely stimulating and constructive, and through their essential quality, as producing conditions that further the growth of cellular matter, and concern its adjustment to environing conditions, they concern likewise the internal health demonstrating as the heat of the atom and its consequent activity and the uniform evolution of the form of which that particular atom of matter forms a constituent part. Emanative prana does little in connection with THEETHERICBODYANDPRANA79 Form building that is not its province, but it conserves the form through the preservation of the health of its component parts. Other rays of the sun act differently, upon the forms and upon their substance. Some perform the work of the destroyer of forms, and others carry on the work of cohering and attracting the work of the destroyer and of the preserver is carried on under the law of the 
some rays definitely produce accelerated motion, others produce retardation. The ones we are dealing with here frantic solar emanations work within the solar universe. That matter is so physical it is not as yet objectively visible to you. The eye of man. Of all physical plane life considered solely in connection with the life of the physical plane atoms of matter, their inherent heat and their rotary motion. These emanations are the basis of that, fire by friction, which demonstrates in the activity of matter. Finally, in the study of the etheric body and prana comes comprehension of the method of logoic manifestation, and therefore much of interest to the metaphysician and all abstract thinkers. The etheric body of man holds in the secret of his objectivity. It has its correspondence on the archetypal plane, the plane we call that of the divine manifestation, the first plane of our solar system, the plane Adi. The matter of that highest plane is called often the sea of fire, and it is the root of the Akasha, the term applied to the substance of the second plane of manifestation. Let us trace the analogy a little more in detail, for in its just apprehension will be found much of illumination and much that will serve to elucidate problems both macrocosmic and microcosmic. We will begin with man and his etheric body. The etheric body has been described as a network, permeated with fire, or as a web, animated with golden light. It is spoken of in the Bible as the golden bowl. A-D-A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-C-O-S-M-I-C-F-I-R The manifesting monad, or one. The heavenly man, the planetary logos, or the manifesting group. The grand man of the heavens, the macrocosm, the solar logos, the manifestation of all groups and of all evolutions within his body, the solar system. P-H-E-P-H-E-R-I-C-B-O-V-Y-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A-81 All these 
embodies the body of a man, a planetary logo, and a solar logo of the product of desire originating on the planes of abstract mind, whether cosmic, systemic, or mind in the three worlds, whether cosmic desire. Mind or human desire mind, and all their bodies are, sons of necessity, as HPV so aptly expressed at point 3536. 2. 8 Statements It is with the etheric bodies of all we are dealing, and with their vivification by prana whether cosmic, solar, planetary or human with the organs of reception and with the basis of emanations. Here, therefore, we can arrive at certain dicta and end the etheric body which for purposes of clarity might well be enumerated. First, the etheric body is the mold of the physical body. Second, the etheric body is the archetype upon which 35S P, I, 74. 36 inches this whole solar system being conceived of as one vast mechanism, with an exquisite adjustment of its parts in all major details, is only the physical expression of Vishnu, or the ethereal basic substance, as we may understand the word for the present. All the harmonies observable in the manifested cosmos are only the result of the harmoniously working energies that resolve ether into the expression that we recognize. All planets, worlds, human beings, etc. are only parts of the body, each functioning in subordination to the law which governs the whole. The evolution Preservation and destruction of the world is therefore one vast process called yagna, which takes place in the body of yagna purusha, or the psychical body of nature. Humanity taken collectively is the heart and brain of this purusha and therefore all the karma generated by humanity, physical, mental, or spiritual, determines mainly the character of this yagna process. Sri Krishna therefore calls the process the yagnic life that he has been giving out to Arjuna as yoga first sloka fourth chr. In fact, yoga and yagna are very closely allied and even inseparable, though at the present day people seem to disconnect the two. Yoga derived from the root huge to join means an act of joining. Now as the heart is the great center in man, likewise the yogi of the heart keeps the central position in the universe and hence his individuality. The individuality of the higher manas being the pivot of the human constitution or the center on which two hemispheres of higher and lower. Existence turn as I have already said, the yogi of the heart has a heavenly dome above and earthly abyss below and his yoga becomes twofold as a consequence. He joins himself onto the thing above in Diana and the thing below in action. The word yagna derived from the root yaj to serve also means a twofold service, service done. To the thing above through service done unto its expression the thing below. Some thoughts on the Gita, pp. 18, 134. 82 ATRE ATISEONCOSMICFIRE. The dense physical form is built, whether it is the form of a solar system, or of a human body in any one incarnation. Third, the etheric body is a Weber network of fine interlacing channels, formed of matter of the four ethers, and built into a specific form. It forms a focal point for certain radiatory emanations, which vivify, stimulate and produce the rotary action of matter. Fourth, these pranic emanations when focalized and received, 
react upon the dense matter which is built upon the etheric scaffolding and framework. Fifth, this etheric web, during incarnation, forms a barrier between the physical and astral planes, which can only be transcended when consciousness is sufficiently developed to permit of escape. This can be seen in both the microcosm and the macrocosm. When a man has, through meditation and concentration, expanded his consciousness to a certain point he is enabled to include the subtler planes and to escape beyond the limits of the dividing web. Physical subplanes. 1. First ether, atomic plane. 2. Second ether, subatomic. S-O-L-A-R-S-Y-S-T-E-M-P-L-A-N-E-S Adi, Divine, Sea of Fire, First Cosmic Ether Anupadaka, Monotic Plane, Akasha, Second Cosmic Ether Three, Third Ether, Super Etheric, Atmic, Spiritual Plane, Ether, Third Cosmic Ether Four, Fourth Ether Super gaseous. Ye and S-E-P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L. 5. Gaseous. Subetheric. 6. Liquid. 7. Earthly. Dense. Buddhic. Intuitional plane. Air. Fourth cosmic ether. P-L-A-N-E-S-O-F-H-U-M-A-N-I-T-Y. Mental. Fire. Cosmic gaseous, astral, emotional plane, water, cosmic liquid, physical plane, earth, cosmic dense. T H E T H E R I C B O B Y A N D P R A N A 83. When the Logos has expanded his consciousness on cosmic levels, he can then transcend the Logoic etheric web and escape beyond the ring pass knot of his objective manifestation. In thinking out this analogy we must hold closely in mind the fact that the seven major planes of our solar system are the seven subplanes of the cosmic physical or the lowest cosmic plane. We might note here the accurate working out of the correspondence in matter and the radiatory correspondence is equally accurate. 6. In all the three bodies human, planetary, and systemic or logoic will be found a great organ within the organism which acts as the receiver of prana. This organ has its etheric manifestation and its dense physical correspondence. In the system, in the system, the organ of cosmic prana, of the force vitalizing matter, is the central sun, which is the direct receiver and dispenser of cosmic radiation. This is one of the threefold divisions of the primordial ray of active intelligence. Each of the cosmic rays is in essence threefold, a fact which is all overlooked. Obvious, each ray is the vehicle for a cosmic entity, and all existence is necessarily trivial in manifestation. The central sun has within its periphery a center of perception with a surface radiation. In the planet, in the planet there will be found a similar organ or receiver within its etheric body, the locality of which is not for exoteric publication and cannot therefore be revealed. It is connected with the location of the two poles, north and south, and is the center around which the globe rotates and is the source of the legend of a sacred fertile land within the sphere of polar influences. The mythic land of exceeding fertility, of abundant. 84. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E on cosmic fire. Luxuriance, and of phenomenal growth, vegetable, animal and human would naturally lie where prana is received. It is the esoteric garden of Eden, the land of physical perfection. Sir, 
surface radiation demonstrates, after distribution, as planetary fauna. In man, the organ of reception is the spleen to its etheric counterpart. After distribution over the entire body via the etheric network it demonstrates in surface radiation as the health aura. 7. Thus in all the three bodies will the resemblance clearly be seen, and the working out in perfect correspondence is easily demonstrable. P-R-A-N-A-0-F-T-H-E-S-O-L-A-R-S-Y-S-T-E-M T-H-E-S-O-L-A-R-S-Y-S-T-E-M Entity Manifesting Body of Manifestation Receptive Center Surface Radiation or Emanation Movement Produced This Frequent Effect T-H-E-P-L-A-N-E-T Entity Manifesting The Solar Logos The Solar System Pole of the Central Sun Solar Sauna Systemic Rotation Solar Etheric Radiation Cosmically a planetary logo, body of manifestation, receptive center, surface radiation or emanation, movement produced, distributive effect, A-H-U-M-A-N-D-E-I-N-G, entity manifesting, body of manifestation, receptive center, surface radiation or emanation, movement produced, distributive effect, a planet, the planetary pole, planetary prana, planetary rotation, planetary etheric radiation felt within the system, the thinker, a Dian Chohan, physical body, the screen, health aura, atomic rotation, felt, human etheric radiation felt by environment, T-H-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-D-O-D-Y-A-N-D-P-R-A-N-A-85 T-H-E-A-T-O-M-O-F-M-A-T-T-E-R Entity Manifesting Body of Manifestation Receptive Center Surface Radiation or Emanation Movement Produced Distributive Effect An Elementary Life The Atomic Sphere Goal of the atom. Contribution of atom to the united health aura of body. Atomic rotation. Atomic etheric radiation felt within the physical form. A. When the will to live vanishes, then the sons of necessity cease from objective manifestation. This is logically inevitable. When the thinker on his own plane withdraws his attention from his world system within the three worlds and gathers within himself all his forces, then physical plane existence comes to an end and all returns within the causal consciousness. This is as much an abstraction in the three worlds of the thinker as the absolute is in the threefold solar system of the logos. This demonstrates on the physical plane in the withdrawing from out of the top of the head of the radiant etheric body and the consequent disintegration of the physical. The framework goes and the dense physical form falls apart. The pranic life is abstracted bodily from out of the dense sheath, and the stimulation of the fires of matter ceases to be. The latent fire of the atom remains. It is inherent, but the form is made by the action of the two fires of matter active and latent, radiatory and inherent aided by the fire of the second logos, and when they are separated the form falls apart. This is a picture in miniature of the essential duality of all things acted upon by Fohat. 86 A T R E A T I S E O N C O S M I C F I R E There is a close connection between the spleen and the top of the head in connection with the etheric body. 
The organ of the spleen has an interesting correspondence to the umbilical cord which attaches an infant to the mother for purposes of nourishment, and which is separated at birth. When a man starts to live his own 